Hello, my friends, my family, my esteemed colleagues. Another question came today about kidney stones and uh, if the salt, extreme salt usage during the protocol is going to worsen the situation. We think kidney stone is a stone out of minerals, so you take more minerals, you're going to make more problems. Well, actually, it's the opposite. And when we break down the kidney stone to check what is it composed of, it's usually, usually it's always a uric acid, but it can contain other minerals, very often calcium. Now, why? What is the connection? And also, why some people create kidney stones, some don't? Well, uric acid is very easily eliminated from the body because it is part of the metabolism, cellular metabolism, that cells then throw into the blood and then it's being cleansed through urine out of the blood. And the uh, problem starts when there is not enough plasma to eliminate this uric acid. That's one of the problems and it's most common problem. So when body cannot eliminate it, it has to figure out ways what to do with it. And it's not only the case with uric acid, it is the case with any toxin. If it cannot cleanse it out, it pushes it into periphery, subcutaneous tissue away from the main circulation. And case with uric acid, um, it will crystallize it. And it will crystallize it in a kidney or also in joints or subcutaneously also pushes it and then it will crystallize it. Why it crystallizes? Because it is in alkaline area. Within a cell it's acidic area so it will not crystallize within the cell. But outside of the cell body maintains its alkalinity, has to. But further away from the main circulation yeah, it becomes acidic. And we know it because our saliva is becoming acidic. Because if we eliminate it through kidneys, urine will be acidic. So when doctors deal with higher levels of uric acid in the blood, now what is a higher level? Anything over six milligrams per deciliter of uric acid in the blood, it is over the limit because the radar level is way lower. We should, even six is already on, you're on a high level. Should have one, two, three, because your body should be cleansing it out. As it comes, cleanse it out. But we don't take in consideration this cleansing. Why doesn't it cleanse? Because if you are loaded with a lot of plasma, you will cleanse it out, no matter how much your body is producing it. But now we are being told because uh, high levels of uric acid are associated right away with certain symptoms. One of them is gout. Another one of them is diabetes, especially diabetes too. And now doctors are trying to make relationship. Well, uric acid diabetes, well, the food, what food causes uric acid? Well, is it pyruvates? So uh, right away we go meat, red meat. No, you cannot have red meat, but, but then we go on basically almost any kind of meat. And then we promote food that's low on periods, which we go right away in grains, ah, grain, ah, completely disregarding how body works. And then more starch, grain, you absorb, your liver cannot deposit it. So if you don't burn it, 
it will be transformed into fat and it happens in the liver and immediately side product is uric acid so more carbs you eat the higher production of uric acid you are going to have it has nothing to do with the meat yes meat has no period but when you eat it it breaks down it does not even come into the blood this way it comes as amino acid as fatty acid and it does not acidify anything because already within the intestine it is being modified and it is being used the way the cellular action the, the cellular demand is so if you need cholesterol then cholesterol will be formed if there is some surplus it will be transformed into fat and the old uric acid is going to be eliminated back where it came from and get out with feces so it has nothing to do with the meat that we eat other than contrary to everything our body produces it as we munch on carbohydrates on grains but we are being recommended to eat grains and cooked vegetables just because the pyruvate is low so you are not going to be getting a lot of the, the, the first step of creation of uric acid which has nothing to do with what is actually happening in the body why do pre-diabetics or diabetics with resistance to insulin have high levels of uric acid because they are eating huge amounts of glucose starch which is producing the diabetes and at the same time by transforming in the liver producing fat producing uric acid we are all on plasma because we are being told not to eat salt and bingo we cannot get rid of it so it rises in the blood and we are getting high levels of uric acid being shoved on the periphery creating kidney stones because of the same problem of the carbohydrate and the acidity buffer is eliminated from the bones now we cannot redeposit re calcium so it raises in the blood mixes it also with uric acid and as it crystallizes the, the kidney stones will have also a lot of it a lot of calcium with uric acid crystallized there this is the process very very obvious and we are being told oh yeah the corn syrup full of fructose and fructose yeah alcohol and fructose are metabolized the same way in the liver as glucose in fatty acids and uric acid so things are different than what we are being told and we should do exactly opposite the doctor suggests stop munching on carbohydrate and you are not going to be producing so much uric acid munch on meat you're not going to have any problem with uric acid all of you with gout with rheumatism stop eating the carbohydrates stop eating starches and you will see your uric acid will go down and you need to increase plasma level you need to increase salt intake but not the toxic salt that they poison you with that iodized and and, and uh, deliberately poison salt with aluminum oxide and all kinds of stuff what they put inside just natural not refined sea salt and your body is going to hydrate so now it will have a lot of water to be able to cleanse and it will take out not only the axis of uric acid but also the excess of sugar and anything else that body does not want to keep 
And this is part of the detox. This is why plasma is used for detox, nothing else. When uh, we already suffer from kidney stones, then of course movement of kidney stone creates pain. Sometimes kidney stone becomes so big that it cannot travel. Well, why is it growing? Because it is in alkaline area and a lot of uric acid comes and in alkaline area it sediments and actually crystallizes. So now more plasma you drink, you are going to give opportunity first, you are going to be cleansing uric acid, so you are diminishing the level of uric acid and to demineralize now the stone, it's quite difficult because the acidic level, well, it didn't really change, but absorption is higher. So slow, little by little, it will diminish. And it will come to the point where it can move through urethra and through kidney creating pain and this is really painful but there is nothing much we can do about it either surgery to cleanse it out ultrasound to try to break it down and now the new equipment that will come frequency oriented you shift frequency zap it up and phew, you make it disappear you just shift frequency but for this we have to wait until that comes everybody who is doing self healers protocol and if they have problem with deposits of uric acid in there, in crystallized form, which very often is just in a small particles like a sand, within two months on protocol, this comes out. And this is why, you know, often people don't even realize that they have a kidney stone and all of a sudden they feel uncomfortable or in pain depending on the size of the stone when it starts moving and they start getting rid of it during the cleansing with the protocol. The protocol cleanses everything from a cell and up. So don't be afraid of the salt if you have kidney stone. The salt is absolutely necessary because it has so many minerals in there which will help with the ionic value of the blood, with the conductivity and overall health of the body. It, it is absolutely necessary. Don't shy away from salt. Use as much of it as you can, as you like but make sure you have drink enough water and this is why drinking plasma is the best way you you can never overload on salt or minerals if you take them with water because body can immediately calibrate it and expel what is not necessary so if you are suffering from rheumatism gout or kidney stones you have to cut down on carbohydrates, not cut down, get rid of them. They should have the toxic food, biblical forbidden food. You get rid of them and you hydrate well, I guarantee you, you know, all your health issues are going to be resolved. Well, there are mental issues as well that will be, uh, that you will have to deal with but even they start bubbling up because your um, thinking becomes crystal clear because the brain is going to be always energized. So this is as much as I want to say this time about this issue. I mention it often in, in videos, it is not possible to talk about something and not mention other things. And this is my problem because then I get trapped and we can be sitting here for a month. 
Okay, so thank you for listening. If this helped you, I'm glad. Until next time, love you all.